moved to London in 79, applied to join London Switchboard. I had very little knowledge of London. So it's um, all the calls about pubs, etc. I just had to wing it, basically. Welcome to the O2 messaging service. The person you are calling is unable to take your call. Please leave your message after the tone. To re-record your message, key hash at any time. People wear their trainers when they go out down here. Dirty, grubby old trainers with holes in and mud on and the sole hanging off. I think mum would pass out if she saw how scruffy everyone looked. Last night, right, I went to a party in my halls and everyone there was wearing the same grim old Reeboks. Yeah, everyone's just a lot more relaxed, I guess. You know, the um, my gay thing that we spoke about over summer. It's not even a gay thing here. Well, definitely not just my gay thing. It's just the norm, almost expected. I mean, it's not like we all sit around and talk about how we came out or go on marches every weekend. Although it does sometimes feel like there's a march every weekend in London but it's just part of the uni experience. Like people almost don't want to admit they're straight. It's just like you said, I didn't even need to worry about those things. I'm actually thinking of getting involved in some clubs and societies. My course friend invited me to a queer night at our student union and I spoke to someone who was volunteering at Switchboard. It's this like helpline for queer people. I thought it was just this thing from the 80s, but it's still going. I guess some stuff's online now, but they still need people to talk on the phones. I don't know. I know I'm not the most chatty person, but I think it could be helpful to people. I know what it's like to feel a bit isolated. No, oh God, <laughs> I'm not saying you guys were all horrible to me, but there's just some things you won't ever get. And mum and dad definitely won't understand. It's hard to explain, but sometimes you just need that space to talk. Anyway, I'll stop rambling on now. I'm sure you're getting bored. Call me back and we can arrange a time for you to come visit. I bet you can't wait to start uni too. I miss you. It's really weird to look back and realise that sort of how much information we had in that one room. It's via switchboards, got involved with the training group. I would have a gut feeling every now and then that you are going to be switchboard gold. We're hanging on to you. Saying you were gay, saying you were lesbian was an incredibly intense political act. I found it difficult to conceive of people who were apolitical. Um, I think I probably still do. 